step. Whew. These are steep. Actually, if I lean backwards at all and I fall, I'm not going to pick myself back up. What a beautiful place. Hard route, easy route. Hard route, easy route, easy route. We're not taking any hard routes. Ooh. Oh, it's a build then. Ah, oh, should we go and have a look? Probably those farm. He knocked me out. Yeah, I can smell it. So I didn't realise how unhealthy I was until I started doing this walk. And the dog's just like, come on guys, hurry up. Slow coaches. Well, we've made it to 1% of the top. Far from the no, we're not that far. It's just something oddly satisfying. I'll walk it on all over this. Like every crunch. You okay? Yeah. I'd say that we're at least halfway at the summit now. We did just go the wrong way, unfortunately. Looking at the map we had, um, it looked as if it took us across an old uh, logging road where they've been doing a lot of forestry. Um, but we got there and it definitely <laughs> went the way. Um, there was like a waterfall sort of thing, like a gorge going down, and there was no safe way to cross it. And to be honest, I couldn't see a way further up even after the gorge and waterfall. So we turned around probably 300 meters back and now we are just heading up yeah how are you feeling kid oh. Oh. it's been a while since we've done any proper hiking um two years ago yeah it's fair to say we lost a fair bit of fitness through covid not blaming covid it, uh, there's a lot to do with a bit of laziness to be honest we obviously we both got quite labor intensive jobs and uh our time was really sparse with the uh, stuff we could do um but trying our best to get back out on it now i mean i start a new job tomorrow uh doing the same thing but hopefully it should give us a bit more time now to uh, get on with other things so it should be the plan good is to get fit and do the sex mode on your walk yeah uh, for instance i mean we thoroughly enjoy the hike in the wild camp inside of things as tired as we get. Yeah, we got loads of stuff planned. Like, I, we want to do Snowdonia. Oh, wow. That's steep. Um, yeah, Snowdonia. I want to do the Lake District, Peak District, Yorkshire Moors. Dartmoor. That'd be really nice. Just get out there, man. An adventure. That's, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Anyway, we'll uh, get back in touch when we're a little further. In a bit. Tricky, trick, trick. Here, Lord Gord, yes. Sweet. Nice spot, though. Mm. So, just having a quick breather because we are both literally so unfit for this. So we're having a quick breather. We're just trying to scope out somewhere to actually pitch up for the night. I thought this was going to be a bang spot. No yeah. Cold, but we turned around and it's all bumpy and bloody. So? 
when we was down below. We oh, thought, amazing. oh look, nice little flat spot, no where to be, no path around. Walk straight through the trees, nice little, it is an actual nice chill spot as well. Nice view down and yeah, yeah. we are literally, Trix likes it. <laughs> she looks like a fairy. She reminds me of a little fairy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the grass as well. She just looks. Pixie. She does look like a little forest pixie. Yeah, it's a really nice chill place, but unfortunately, it's not going to work. Like, yeah. I mean, if we could tarp it, eh? Yeah. We could have probably built something really cool there. I do want to get a hammock. I want to get a tarp. I do. Well, without the without the hammock, it's literally just a big tarp with draw lines and put up like yeah. A, see, uh... I don't, I don't fancy that. Why? Because it means we'd have to sleep on the floor. Yeah. In a bivy bag, sleeping bag, sounds great. Look up at the stars. Stand. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna tarp over you though. Well, we can build like a lean to. What are you gonna do? Cut a little hole in it? <laughs> <laughs> like build like a hole. lean to sort of thing, can you? Yeah, but don't mind that. But. It's just the floor's covered in little creatures. Not gonna worry, do. Okay. It's not gonna be out. <coughs> it's nice to be out of the sun for a moment, actually, because the sun was literally it was beating down it's on us. Blazing. She's not good. She is. This is her first camping trip ever. Oh, I pray to God she's already so, dragging down now. Yeah. It's in the morning. I, I got a feeling she'll be alright. We've got a couple of toys of us. We've got her treats, which she's literally treat driven. She's got her bed. We've got like a little blanket for her. She's got us. So she should be okay. Should. Should. We pray, because otherwise we're tracking down this mountain at like four o'clock in the morning, which I yeah, but that's not gonna happen. I'm not she she's just gonna have to put up with it. Yeah. She should be she's had a nice walk with us, so she's gonna be knackered. So she should be good. If she does good this time, then we'll take it again for longer. If you go down to the woods today, you're sure to get a surprise. <laughs> so we think we found our spot for the night. But yeah. What's this though? I think we found a nice spot by here for the night. Um, seems like the pretty flattest out of the way spot to be honest with you compared to what the other places that are around. Like a nice we go but there. Done. Actually we've just found a even better spot. I just walked through a spider's web. We've just found an even better spot. Um, more flat, a lot more covered, and just a little bit nicer. So we're going to take these bags down, <laughs> and uh, I'll show you down when we get there. Lashes when I got no makeup on. So, not only are we doing a bit of wild climbing, we're also going to do a bit of bushcraft tonight by making our own pegs. Yep. Great. <laughs> All part of the adventure, I guess. Apparently, it was my my responsibility or my task to bring the pegs. It was. I wasn't told. Yes, you were. I was just told to get everything else ready and get the dog ready.
So that's the inside of the tent, all nice and cutchy, ready for tonight. Got both our pillows, sleeping bags, and we got Trixie's little bed at the bottom, which I doubt she's actually going to use. She's probably just going to sleep between us. So yeah, that's the inside of the tent done. I'll just show you the outside. Ignore all that, I'm going to sort all that out now. But yeah, a little walk around the actual tent. So the tent we are actually using is the OEX Bandicoot 2. Pretty, it's too skin, too layered. It is waterproof. We've had this in bad winds and rain. Um, last, no, two years ago, we done the Gower Walk um, and it was absolutely horrendous weather in the night. It literally rained all night, but it kept us warm, it kept us dry. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad. A little fire going now. I'm gonna put the kettle on. Have a nice cuppa. Trixie's uh, settling in in the tent. No, I haven't locked her in. It's just she wanted to go in and I like to close the net. Lovely and chill. It is absolutely beautiful, yeah, guys. Absolutely beautiful. By buying bags of kindling because I really needed the fire tonight. But obviously, we need the fire for warmth and lighting and such. So we did cheat because at the end of the day, we have had a lot of rain over it. And, and I'm, to be honest, I'm still not the best at building fires as of yet. So I'd rather be truthful. And, and we did lump that all the way up here. Yeah, which is a killer. Plus that amount of water, yeah. Rather have it not need it, that makes sense. Well, this is the little cocker that we use. Um, Love that thing. Vango. Uh, I think OEX is no Vango. It's technically our tent's Vango. Oh, is it? Right. So that's all you do is literally pull out these. Just... I'll put this one in my mouth. So yeah, as I was saying, you screw this on. I'm giving everyone a tutorial even though they know how to do this. And then... So... We are staying... about... Basically, right next to where we're staying, there is a stream. Now, technically, the stream, oh, look at that puddle over there. We're going to definitely be doing some beer reviews later. Yeah, got some more beer as well. This is probably what I'm looking most forward to, uh, tropical pale <laughs> It's no hazy Jane, but Aldi's, what are we going to do? <laughs> I think we should see that. Got the water as well, just to try and keep it all cold, to be honest with you. I'm going to fall in, and I? I'm right behind you. Yeah, I'm nice and cold, huh? A little bit of water. No. Oh, that water's freezing as well. Oh, they're going to be nice and about. This is how you do a wild style. <laughs> Well, it's coming down through all the rocks, so as yeah, long as there's not a dead sheep up the top or nothing, we'll be alright. Yeah, that looks pretty fresh.
we're having a nice cook cook up I don't even know what to call her what to call her Steak and fried veggies. The Welsh steak and fried red veggies. Off the off off for us all of it. So yeah guys we've got um mushrooms, pepper onions and spring onions. All picked wild from the <laughs> forage from the way up. Forage from the way up, totally hundred percent. <laughs> And then to go with it, can I have the seasonings, please? Some nuts to go with it. We've got some, some nice steak. Rump steaks. And that was meant to be <laughs> butter. It's a bit melted though. And what I want to do is add a bit of mixed herbs. And and five Chinese there. spices. Lovely as well. Alright, you know, so I bought another one for this exact reason. It's bloody stunning stuff. Smell that. Oh, do you want to smell, guys? I have a smell out like that. Oh, banging it. We don't want too much of it, though, because it, it's really... It's like toothpaste. I know it sounds weird, but a little bit. Stunning. Is that much in? That's enough. It's too much. No, it's not. Too much. Plenty. Shut that. We'll get this top back on quickly. Give it a good shake. Shake, 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 shake it. Go on, shake that. Shake it. Go on, shake it. Oh, look at that. Stunning. Can I fit this in here? Yeah. That's not enough. This as well is all 100% yeah, foraged on the way up. Like. Don't ask what tricks he's got. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, they just smell amazing, man. Plenty of heat over here on the frying pan. Look at that. We Is didn't there enough heat for there? Yes, plenty. Plenty. Can go with the rest. Only if you had to smell the vision down. See this, because everything, that, those veggies are smelling barn. You wouldn't believe. The people down there now walking the dog and I'm like, oh, what's that smell? So I, I think what would be nice is when we're having a beer now, we settle down after food now, we talk about our inspirations of what really made us want to do stuff like this. All right, like then. people, like YouTube channels, like why we like doing it, who okay. made us like doing it. Like a set and talk kind of thing? Yeah, just a chill. Like. Yeah, okay. You haven't got um, a flip or flip. Well, Trixie's tucking down and having her feast for tonight. Here, uh, what's she got? Some forid, foraged uh, dog food. Dog food. We've got a track. Give us a review. Nice. And that's what we call a steak and bloody vegetable dinner. Wow, that's nice. So, guys, this is the food. Hold on, Trixie decides she wants to cry because we have to put it away because she decides that she wants to help herself to it. <clears throat> have you tasted it? Not the steak. Tasting it now. Mm. That's got perfection, in my opinion. Oh my god, no. Stunning. Come on, quick! Stop, stop it! Stop man. running away. So the, first... so the first one we got up is Memphis Boulevard Grapefruit Infused IPA. So 6.5 and brewed in Scotland. Nice. That's that one. Then we have a 
the hop foundry. Where's she gone? Right, where we go? We've got the hop foundry, stout about it. That's a 5.2, it's like a vanilla stout. Kate's got a, uh, a William Brothers Paolo Peach Pale Ale. Looks good. That is a 5.1, nice little pink girly can. <laughs> That's the only reason why I got it, don't even like Gale. And this is probably going to be my favourite that I've been looking forward to, the Hop Foundry Tropical Pale Ale. It's only a 4%, but tropical flavours, can't go wrong with that, can you? Top man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's listen to the crack. Oh, oh. Nice froth. What is she? <sighs> oh, that's good. You taste? That is good. Wow, it could taste the grapefruit or not. Was it grapefruit, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely taste the grapefruit in that. Mm. Oh, wow. It's a structure and everything. This is where he wanted to show us was the tracks. She decided to keep running off. So he was like, right, okay, let's go on as a follower. And she brought us here. So this is the one I got. Let's give it a go. I'm not a fan of ale, but... Ooh. That was a proper fizz, oh, I was there. That was a good one. That was a proper fizz. Tastes like something. Yeah. Tastes like something. Give it a taste. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Peachy. It's got like that, some weird taste that you've tasted before. Yeah. It's nice though, it's refreshing. So we encouraged you. Why do we look so pale? <laughs> <laughs> so we encouraged you <clears throat> for what while camping yeah to there's be, a few different people to be here right now i mean we've got mike atia outdoors his youtube channel yeah, i think he's the first ever one i've seen because i used to watch his father um totally awesome fisher and graham brilliant people um and then i found mike who's, who's that guy the funny guy which one? The one who just takes the mech. He is outdoors. Is, is, that, no, the one, is that the one who cocked, um, cocked the crab and that the other day? Yeah, that's uh, he's outdoors. Brilliant. He's brilliant. brilliant. We love his outdoors. Absolutely brilliant. Definitely East England bushcraft. What a legend that guy is. Love him to bits. Is he the blonde one? Yeah, the yeah. The long hair? Yeah, yeah. He's an absolute legend. Absolute legend. I, I love his sense of life, really. His attitude towards life is amazing. It's really helped me a lot, like, as well. Um, really not yeah, you've got Hayes Outdoors, yeah. East Anglian Bushcraft, uh, Hayes Outdoors. You said Hayes that e four times. Did I? <laughs> Hayes Outdoors, East Anglian Bushcraft, TA Outdoors. Um, there's loads of them. And probably the biggest for me at the minute, who I can't get enough of, is Mr. Wild Wales. I absolutely love the bloke to bits. Genuinely, he's, he's brilliant. Sound like some genuine creepy store. <laughs> Love him to bits by it. No, he's great. He's really, really great. I mean, some of the camps he's done is absolutely stunning. I mean, the location we're on now is down to Mr. Wild Wales. Um, yeah. Only because, like, I think we live close to each other. I think we live very close to each other. I think this thing with, like, Swansea in general, there's you have to go out to Swansea to go camping, if that definitely, makes sense. Definitely. Like, you've got the Gower. You can, like, the Gower is not a problem, you can go down there, but... But you are not welcome down the Gower at all. Yeah, all and it's there. it's not the same, like, this right here, like, you cannot get this down the Gower. I understand the Gower location is beautiful, you've got the mountains, you know, you've got the you've got the beaches, you've got the cliffs and stuff like that, it's absolutely amazing. We've done half of it, it's absolutely stunning, but it's not this. No. Um... And then when we come across his video, it was at the lockdown one. Yeah. Um, 
You go smoking around him. Yeah, smoke the eye. <laughs> ah. When we come across his lockdown video, we was like, okay, wait, that's literally on our doorstep. Like, yeah. literally, like it took us 10 minutes to drive here. We had to take the long way around because of stupid traffic stuff. Um, but it literally took us about 10 minutes to get from Swansea to resolve into where we are. Um, and big shout out to him for actually sharing the map that he done, the route that he done to us. Absolutely. Legend. For, like, he done, he started off, where did he start? A Crime month, didn't it? No, Astralavera. 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 Something like that. He started there and walked over to the other side of Neath. What's the Avon? Avon. Yeah. But we we wanted to make one night out of it because we haven't been camping so long. We didn't want to do like a full hike. It was like sixteen miles, twenty miles. Sixteen and a half miles, I think it was. So right? we was like, yeah, okay, let's just do half it. So we came into the middle of where he <laughs> done his first night camp, which was Resolvan. So yeah, the years where we are, and a big shout out to him for literally sharing the map with us because. You know, not many people do that, do they? No, the guy's an absolute legend. Seriously, you've got to give that much to him. Um, and also, like, I asked him, is this whereabout were you camping? Because uh, we, we were struggling to find a flat spot and he shared where he was camping to. So, huge shout out to him. Yeah. 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 Genuine G. i got to give him that. But then, again, like, you've got people are the likes of Liam Brown. For instance, he walked from. Uh, That's really smoky. It is. Isn't it? it is smoky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Liam Brown. Um, oh, like he done. I think it was two, three months walk actually from um, John O'Groat all the way down the Lands End. I mean, that's a feat in itself. You know what I mean? That's super. Yeah. So many inspirations out there for you to actually just get up, get out, and do this. Like, you know what I mean? It's it's magical. I mean, live your best life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's genuinely magical. It makes you feel alive. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. yeah, that's one thing I can say. It does. Like, you don't get this in your back garden. You don't no, get this in a campsite. No, no. The risk as well that you take. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. complete utter silence. It is silent. Like your voice echoes in these woods because it's so silent. Yeah. It's not. It's, it's wicked. Not. I'm dreading it when it gets dark. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, I'm up to this. I'm not. I am nervous. I mean, it's been a while. Anyone who goes camping for the first time in a while, it's nervous. You are nervous. But once you get through that first night, it's everything's done. I'm just more worried because the trees look like they'll morph. What? The trees look like they're, they're the type of trees that will morph. What do you mean morph? You know when you watch like a, like Harry Potter, for example, and you've got like the tree tolls. Bridge to Terabithia and you've got the tree tolls. And they, they look like they're gonna morph. You do realize every single one of those films are fake, eh? Well, they weren't real. Yeah, I know that. But I... Here she goes. Put your fire! <laughs> Whip it. Whip it. Who needs them? His first camp. Whip it. So far, she's doing okay. But we'll see how yeah, it goes. We'll see. We'll see. Our next one up, we got the Hop Foundry. Stout about it. Vanilla Stout. Not too sure what stout is. I don't think I've ever tried stout. <laughs> a full creamy stout with sweet hints of vanilla flavour. Okay. Um, 5.2%. Okay, let's give it a go then. Oh, that was a nice one. To be fair, I think mine was the best. Oh, that's dark. That's a proper ale. What colour is mine? I quite like that. It smells like cola. Trust me. Vanilla cola. You it's, know, it's like a you, vanilla coffee. I'm not even no, joking. You know, you know that vanilla Coca-Cola? Yeah. That's what it smells Have like. Have a swig of that. That's mad. <laughs> Have a swig of that. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that. I don't know. Very bitter. Oh, yeah, it's bitter. Don't know what it tastes like. What? You know that syrup that you put in coffee? Yeah. Like the, yeah. you know the stuff that we bought yeah. from TK Maxx? Yeah. That's exactly what it tastes like. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Just lay down in it. 
Hey, you go there. No. <laughs> Is that stick by there? Look, let's move this stick and let's move this stick there. How's that? Try that. Try that. Lay down. <sighs> oh my god, Trace. There's a comfy bed in there, love. Like so, unfortunately, we have almost come to the end of our night. Um, basically, the fire's gone out now. Um, Four cans down between me and Kate. Not a lot, I know, but we're not big drinkers, it is. And the last one I've been saving to last, and that I'm most been looking forward to, is the Hop Foundry. Is that the <laughs> Hop Foundry? Tropical. Um, brewed in partnership with Freedom Brewery. Um, I'm still really new to IPAs and stuff like that, so I couldn't tell who they are. It's only a 4%, but it's just a tropical pale ale, and uh, we'll give it a go. What was that? What? Oh, the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Not much of a fizz, but I did open it a little bit beforehand. Right, let's have the first swing on. It's got like a resemblance to the Daisy Jane guava. Reminds me a little bit of that. Well, it's not too bad, this, man. It's nice, though. That's quite nice. I could get into that one. So, I think this is going to be the end of the night for us. So I'm going to have this. Just have a little chill out. Oh, yeah, well, we are. And then get into the tent and we'll see when we're in the tent. So, unfortunately, we have come to the end of our night. Our fire's out. It's pretty dark and it's getting pretty late in all fairness. I think it might be about 10 o'clock about now. Sorry, I just like get my shoe on. <laughs> Trixie's sleeping. Trixie's out, does. She's in there. She's, she's gone. She's had a hell of a day, love her. Um, yeah, fire's out. I've had my last beer. <coughs> just gonna go in the tent now, but beforehand, we're gonna do our can stamp. This is all down to Mr. Wild Wales. Um, if you're watching, mate, love the idea, absolutely brilliant. Recycling at the same time, getting it smaller, getting in the pack, take it home with us. Like everyone tells you on the wild camping scene, if you go to a site and there's rubbish there, eh, leave with m more than you brought. Take a little bit of rubbish, it's, it's not that hard, like you can fit it in a bag. Get in a bit on the way home. There's no need to leave. We will show you tomorrow you... if my phone stays charged. Yeah. That we are literally leaving nothing. No trace. No trace. No trace even whatsoever. Even that is e going. Even this is going. That's going the lot. And we'll try and recover the ground that I kicked over and whatnot. Out into the original story that I was getting <laughs> to. Mr. Wild Wales can stamp. We've got five cans here. As you can see. Down by the fire. We've got five of them. So um, meant to go down. We're going to try and get them as flat as possible. Um... We'll let Kate go first. Um, no, you go first. You want me to go first? Yeah, you go okay. first. You've got three, I've got two. Okay. Um, I'll go first. And we'll see how <laughs> we get on. Okay, we're going to start with the the Hot Foundry Stout about it. Wouldn't well, it be better to put it on the rock? No, nah, I'd be right there. Right, okay, my first one. <sighs> my laces are on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh that did my... Put it on the rock. It's because of the rot, it's because it's... Okay, I'm going to try and get it not hot of a rot, that's pretty hot. Okay. That's how... Okay, second one. Oh! Okay. Mm. I only give out a five. Mm. I reckon that's a fair five. About a four. It's hot. <laughs> Is it? Uh, my last one. Use this one. The IP I IPA. Okay. Ready? Oh, oh man, you that was knackered, man. All right, give me a go. You want the big one or small? See the thing. I'll go down now. Eh? Okay. <laughs> so we're there. Oh, guys, I've never done this before in my life. That's okay, ready? Ah. Ah. I've never, I've never done it. That's still inflated. No, that's, that's just good enough. It's the rock. It's the rock. <laughs> okay. That's better. Ready? Yeah, go on. Oh! Mate. <laughs> mate. That, my friend. I that, that's know. a good eight. No. That's a good seven or eight. It's a technique. I found the technique. Kit, I think you won, won that You've challenge. Got to use that bit of your Babe, I think you won that challenge. Guys, we're in the tent. 
it is like without that it's so dark and yeah so and you cuddled up to this corner there's there's dan cuddled up to that corner and then you've got a truck seat <laughs> <laughs> taking up the entire friggin bed ah uh, she's welcome you can't even see your head where's your head where's this there she is <coughs> Morning, guys, nice fresh water to wake me up. <laughs> Lovely. And that's the mountain, by the way. Yeah, sorry we couldn't get in. any more footage of this morning, guys. So, guys, we've just got down the mountain. It's 10 o'clock. Um, we couldn't get any more footage this morning. My phone died literally first thing this morning. I think the last scene I'd done, I was making a cup of coffee. Um, we're in the van, we're about to head home, we are both absolutely knackered, we definitely need better sleep systems, 100% need better sleep systems. The entire experience was absolutely amazing, it was just sleeping, It was the floor was solid, it was not the comfiest, but it was worth it, it was absolutely worth it, it was amazing. It definitely was, going to invest in some self inflating yeah. in thin air beds. 100%, so if anyone does have any recommendations, lightweight, yeah, yeah, lightweight um, definitely. please let us know because... We're literally using mats at the moment, and it's not like yoga mats yeah. with like an insulation on the bottom of the. It's not good. Yeah. Not good. The only thing is, I am literally cut to bits as well. Like, ouch, that hurts. And the dog doesn't want to be in the van. She doesn't want to go home. Yeah, she's like, I don't want to go home yet. That was fun though. I we're tired. We're gonna head home, um, have some breakfast when we get home, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you do want to see more wild camping videos, let us know because we're up for doing this a lot more. It's just getting... I think our outro for the wild camping video is we should both go like that. Stay wild. Yeah. Okay, ready? Stay, Stay wild. wild. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, to end our trip, we thought we'd pull over and uh, cook some bacon on, this, on the road. Well, we're in, uh, we're waiting for Dan's nan. So we're like, right, let's just cook some bacon. We're both hungry after that trike, after that hike. <laughs> trike. <laughs> after that hike. We're both tired and we got bacon. So he's like, let's cook some bacon. Can't beat it, can we? Not well. <laughs> Literally in the middle of a car park. There's probably people over there thinking, what the hell are they doing? <laughs> We're open, but is Nan have some bread? Yeah. <laughs>